So recently I've been building a simple blog project with Ruby on Rails. So I wanted to deploy this to a service like Render and I couldn't really find any good videos on this specific topic. My name is Steve. I like to build out web development projects. Hopefully the value that I can bring to you is to show you these frameworks or these different projects or different languages and inform you as to if you should build with them or at least show you what it's like. What What is the process like? So today, guess what? We're gonna take a left turn. We are going to move a very basic blog project that is built on Ruby on Rails and deploy it to render. So come along with me, won't you? And let's take a look at the process of the deployments. If you like that I go through these tedious tasks like deploying Ruby on Rails to render, consider clicking the subscribe button right here. My hand is gonna be pointing to it right here. It's free, I don't get any money from it. You don't get any money from it. So actually I'm not sure why you're doing it, but it, it helps to get more views on this video. And maybe in 30 years, I can quit working and just make YouTube full time. <laughs> so let's get into it. Let's see what the process is like. Come along with me. Let's go. Yeah. No, I already have a Rails project. Let me just show you what it looks like. It's very simple. It's got navigation up top. It's got a few pages. It's got a blog with some posts. So I'm just working through this documentation here for render, and it's telling us that we need to change SQLite 3 or SQLite to PG. So let's do that. And then after we change that, we will run bundle install on the project. And then we need to go to configure database YAML, which is right here. We change the adapter to Postgres SQL, which is right here. I think that's it. Open the config YAML database and find the production section. Modify it to gather information, gather the database config from the database underscore URL environment. So this is for production. Okay, so this is just setting the database to a different variable. Open config Puma RB, which is right there. Sorry, I'm going back and forth here. We need to add a workers environment variable under the specific file or names of workers. Thread, max thread. Let's put this at the bottom. We'll see if we get any errors when we try to deploy it. Open config environments production and enable the public file server when render environment variable is present. So this would be config environments production. Is this within the do? I guess. All right. Create a build script. So this would be, you'll need to run a series of commands to build your app. This can be done using a build script. Create a script called bin render build, render dash build sh. So let's see here. Bin build render builds sh. Yes. Make sure the script is executable before checking it into Git. So we want to make sure the permissions are set with the chmod. This will configure this will configure render to call the script. Okay, commit all the changes and push them to your GitHub repository. All right. I think that might be all the changes we need in the repo itself. Let's commit them and see I'm gonna push. Did it push? Yes, log demo is updated. All right, cool. So that should all be pushed, deployed. There are two ways to deploy, either declaring your service within the repository and render YAML or manually setting up the service. 
in the dashboard. Let's see, let's just glance over. It looks like the YAML is easier. Create a file called render.yaml at the root of the directory with the following content. The file will include the information about your Rails web service and a database that will be used for the application. Don't forget to commit and push to your remote repository. All right, so this has to be called render.yaml in the root of the project. Let's close those here. Let's fill out this information. What is the database name? Just keep it blog test. User Liebs. So I need the, the database URL and the Rails master key, it looks like. On the Rails dashboard, go to the Blueprint page and click New Blueprint Instance. Select your repo. Connect. Blueprint name, blog test, <laughs> testy, and we'll do main, no, okay, so I got to commit the render.yaml file first. So I need a database URL, database name not valid, oh, is it, is it because there's a dash, instance type, plan free? I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're getting somewhere. Error occurred. The hell? Ruby on Rails, ladies and gentlemen. All right, and it just finished up and I'm able to see the deployment log and it looks like it deployed, the build was successful and it looks like it was deployed. So let's check out the URL. And believe it or not, it worked the first time. Here it is. It's working. And I am definitely not a back-end person. And I'm, I'm not a DevOps person. And I was able to follow along with this documentation very easily. I've never worked with Ruby on Rails before, and I was able to get it on render. You do have to give them credit card information for the free plan in order to get it started. At least I had to. Maybe I clicked something that I wasn't supposed to, um, but that would be the only kind of resistance as to preventing someone from getting something like this up and running for free. And yeah, I'm surprised how easy it was. It was very easy. I got it done in about 10 minutes and I just worked through this documentation that I'll link below. And I have a live website on that was built on Ruby on Rails that I've never built with before. And it's on render and it deployed just like how it said it was supposed to. So that's a huge win. So yeah, I'm super happy. Let's see if we can make a post. Let me see if I can create a post. Oh, there it is. That's so crazy. I wonder what happens. It, let me open a new private window. Is this just open to everybody? Let's see, go to the blog. Here's the post. So anyone can just post here. That's awesome. But anyone can also destroy posts. Oh, wow. I'll leave. I went through a great video done by another YouTuber. I'll leave that link down below to actually build this out. It was like a course for Ruby on Rails in an hour. I thought it was really interesting. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was enjoyable to watch and I hope this was interesting. Definitely recommend Render if you're trying to deploy Ruby on Rails. It's very easy and quick. And thanks so much for watching.